Today we have an exciting video because Jake and I are starting a traveling book box. So if you're not familiar with the concept of the traveling book box, there have been a few playlists or videos around. I know we've participated in one that was fantasy related a while back. Mm -hmm. So check that out if you haven't yet. Um, but basically the concept is we have a, sa a stack. <laughs> a sa? Stack. We have a stack of books. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the concept is Jake and I have a stack of unhaul books that we've read and are finished with that we'd like to pass on. So what's going to happen is we're going to pack a box full of unhauls, send it on to one of our friends. They're going to take out what they want, put something in that they don't want and on to the next person. And once it gets through about 10 of us, I think it's coming back to Jake mm -hmm. and then we'll see what we end up with. Basically it's a big book swap. That's lots of fun. And this particular edition or version is going to be mystery, thriller, and horror. Should be a lot of fun. It should be. I'm very curious to see what everyone ends up picking out of the box from our stuff. Like hopefully they find some things to enjoy in our unhauls. And the plan is for, for all the people that we're sending it to, they're also booktubers and they're going to film their unboxing. They're going to film their reactions to what's in the box. They're going to film what they're going to take out and they're going to film what they're going to put back in and then so on and so forth until it comes back to here and we see what we end up with and it'll be interesting to see if we end up with any of the same books or not yeah and we'll make a playlist eventually of all the videos yeah we're filming this in december probably the videos won't come out till sometime next year yeah all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it so first up i'm putting in a book that I've read that Jake has not read, but that I don't think he'll have interest in. So this is The Perfect Marriage, or as you can see, The Not-So-Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. And the basic premise of this one is that a husband is accused of murdering his mistress and his wife has to be his lawyer and defend him. That's a kooky premise. It makes for some drama. <laughs> I enjoyed it, though. I had a good time with it. There's some moments you have to suspend disbelief for, but it's a good time. Yeah, I'm sure someone will pick it and enjoy it. Hopefully. The next book that is going in the book box is What One Wouldn't Do, which is actually a horror short story collection that was kindly gifted to me by Sharon. And she had a fantastic time with most of this collection. I thought it was a little bit more of a mixed bag, but the ones that are like really good are like standout horror stories that I just absolutely loved there's a couple poems in here that aren't fantastic but i'm i'm hoping that someone will pick this up and we can kind of like compare like which short stories that we liked uh the most it was a lot of fun to go with sharon to see like which ones she really liked versus which ones i really liked the next book that's going in the box is the butterfly garden by dot hutchinson now i really enjoyed this book i gave it four and a half stars I thought it was one of the most disturbing horror books I'd read in a quite a long time. The main reason why it's going in the box and I'm unhauling it is because that it, it is a series. It's like a quartet of books, I think, four books. I've heard that books two, three, and four aren't really necessary like reads and that you should probably just stick with the first book. So I'm probably not going to reread it too often, but it was very disturbing. A lot of gruesome imagery. And I really did enjoy it. And you have not read it. Right? I have not. But I know a reviewer that I follow who has very opposite taste to me loved it and raved about it. So that makes me think, oh, it's probably not going to be a favorite for me. And I'm happy to pass it on to somebody else who may love it more. All right. So it's going in the box. Yes. So the next book that's going in the box is an all-time favorite. Actually, probably my top favorite thriller ever. And it would be The Passengers by John Mars. So I'm hoping someone finds this and really loves it and can chat about it with us. I also really did enjoy most of that book. Most of it? The ending was a little convoluted <laughs> for me, but okay. the, the, the whole premise of it all and just all of the twists and turns that it takes was excellent. Yeah. Like a four and a half star book for me. The reason... Five stars. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> the reason I'm... This is my copy, by the way. The reason I'm getting rid of it is because I also have the audio. So if I ever did want to go back and reread it, I have that option. So hopefully someone will uh, pick up this book because it's a favorite of both of ours. You could also steal my copy if you really wanted to. I could. You could. 
I might let you. It's going in the box. Okay. And the next book is one of my all-time favorite thrillers, which is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. Now, you haven't read this one yet, but you're, no. I'm very excited for you to read this. Yes. I want to read it and I will soon. So basically I'm putting my physical copy in the box because I can use Jake's copy while I'm here. And also the audio is on script, so. Yes, it's it's super good. It's not like a thriller that has like a lot of twists and turns. It's basically a thriller where just someone's in a really crappy situation. And the fun of it is just to see how they get out of it. And it's also got just one of the most vile and disgusting villains that really just got under my skin i wanted to like jump in the book and punch him <laughs> and i just this book really got something going for me and i loved it i can see why you felt that way about the villain just after the first few chapters so yeah i'm looking forward to reading the rest of it going in the box so the next book going in the box is home before dark by riley sager he's definitely a favorite author of mine I've read all six of his books and I think all of them have gotten at least a four star from me, which is quite a feat because I am picky. But this one is uh, more of a thriller horror mashup mm -hmm. and it has one of your favorite tropes, which is the book within a book. Yeah, so far I've read three Riley Sager books. This has easily been my favorite. I gave it four stars. In the box it goes. The next book going in the box is The Ritual by Adam Neville. Now this is one of the only uh, books that's going in the box that I haven't read yet. I bought this a while ago from like a used bookstore and I've had it for years and I've just never gotten around to it. But just from the cover alone, it looks like it's going to be a creepy ass horror book. So hopefully someone will pick it up and be terrified by it and get a lot of thrills and chills from it. Hopefully. Going in the box. So here's the next book going in the box, A Flicker in the Dark. And actually neither of us have read this. But our reasoning for putting a copy in the box is that we both have copies and I plan to read it to Jake at some point. So this is Jake's copy and he wouldn't want to keep it anyway because hardcover. So I'm just going to read him my copy and we'll buddy read it. And we actually don't really know the premise of it. Nope. We like to go into thrillers not knowing that much about it. Yes, definitely. So whoever picks this, if anyone picks it, you're going in blind. In the box it goes. The next book I have to talk about is A Simple Favor by Darcy Bell. Now, when I originally read this, it was like one of my all-time favorite thrillers just because it had a little bit of a different flair to it. It was more of like a black comedy. Yeah. And you were kind of rooting for the villain in most places because yeah. the protagonist was just very dumb. And I, <laughs> and I thought it was really funny. You didn't really have a great time with it, though. No, I just found too many logical flaws, that, like nitpicks of things that I noticed. And I was like, oh, that's bugging me. So, no, it didn't work for me as well. I think at one point when I was reading it, I messaged you and I was like, why do you like this? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, I had a great time with it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So hopefully someone will pick it and enjoy it. And it'll be interesting to see what reaction they have, whether they fall more on Jake's side or my side. Either way, it's going in the box. So another Riley Sager that Jake had in his Going in the Box, The Last Time I Lied. So this is the second one he ever wrote. And I can see why this wasn't your favorite one, only because the premise to me leans more of like girly, I guess. It's about a girl who returns to a summer camp as an instructor where her cabin mates went missing. And it's about how that all goes down. Yeah, I think so far <laughs> this has been my least favorite. Uh, Home Before Dark was excellent and uh survivor survive the night survive the night uh, i loved the first half of that book but then the second half not so much with this one it just was so slow to get into and then you get to like kind of the reveal of what happens at the end and i wasn't a huge fan of like the reveal <laughs> so right, it just fair. it just wasn't one of my favorites i don't remember this one a whole time because it was actually the first riley sager book i ever read but i remember like it being slow at the beginning and then getting more into it at the end and i'm thinking Oh, I should check out more of his books. And then sure enough, I did. It's going in the box. Yeah. Next book I have here is a recent read, uh, The Night Swim by Megan Golden. And we actually buddy read this book. Yes, we did. And I actually preferred her other book, um, The Escape, the Escape Room. Room, which had one of the best endings to a thriller of all time. It was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. But The Night Swim overall was still an excellent book. It started out very well. It deals with some very serious subject matter, so it was very hard to read at times. But overall, I think it was very worth reading, and I had a good time with it. Yep, it's intriguing. I liked 
that the mystery wasn't just in the podcast elements of the book, but also in the main character's real life as well. And that's another reason why it's going in the box, because the audiobook did the podcast element so well that I don't feel like I need the physical copy. Yeah, and it's hardcover, so. Yeah. I know a lot of y'all love hardcovers, but I'm a paperback boy. Well, there is a mix in the box, so hopefully everyone's preferences are appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, I am sticking a trilogy in the box, and that would be The Patience of a Dead Man, Dead Woman Scorned, and Anger is an Acid. So this is an indie horror series that Jake and I buddy read together, and we really enjoyed, well, I really enjoyed it all. He had some complaints, um, but I don't think either of us have a desire to reread it. And so we're hoping someone else picks it up and loves it. I think I think it ended strongly. Like my favorite was the third book, Anger is an Acid. I had a little bit of issues with the, end of the, us the, the second book, but overall the trilogy, I'm glad we read it. It was a lot of fun to read to each other. I think my favorite was the beginning of book two. Because the beginning of book two starts out as more of a prequel story a little bit to what happened in book one. And it was very intriguing. It'll be interesting to see if someone ju just picks the first book or if they pick, they pick the whole trilogy. Them. It'll be yeah. interesting. Somebody could pick the first one and we could end up with two and three back here. Yeah, Who it'll, knows? it'll be funny if like the first book gets per picked sooner and then someone's like, oh, book two and three. But where's the first <laughs> book? <laughs> well, it was here. But that's fine too. Whatever works. Either way, it's going in the box. And the last book that we're going to put in the box, I think we have a total of 15 books. Right? Some, yeah. Something like I that. Think 15 or close to anyway. Yeah. We have The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. Again, another one of my all-time favorite thrillers. I love the premise. I love the main character. And just overall, one of my favorite thrillers. And you also read it. Yes. And this is my hardcover copy. I did it on audio though. Well, I, I did some immersion reading, but mostly I did the audiobook. What did you think of it? I didn't love it as much as you did, but I had a good time with it. Yeah. I'm hoping someone will pick it. Hopefully. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, it's also going in the box. That's it? That's that, it all? That's all the books. Are you going to do an outro? All right. So that's all the books that are going in the traveling book box. And... We are going to be shipping this off to Kevy from Say Kevy. She's the first stop, and it'll be very interesting to see what she picks. Yep. I'm very curious to see what we end up with at the very end, too. And like I said, this is, we're, we're filming this way in advance, so you guys are probably watching this, like, in February, maybe. Maybe even March. Who knows? Yeah, who, who <laughs> knows? But it'll be a lot of fun. And like I said, we'll have a playlist of everybody who made videos just to see you know like the traveling book box and see who picked what and what we end up with so it'll be a lot of fun so hopefully you enjoyed seeing what we put into the traveling book box we definitely thought it would be a fun thing for us to start together because whatever we end up with at the end chances are at least one of us will want it and if we both want it then we can buddy read it so sounds like a solid plan yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy the process 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 Process. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Denied. Denied. So in conclusion, what did you guys think of the books that we put in the traveling book box? Comment down below what books you would take out of the box uh, for this first video. And then by the end, go watch our last video. And what books would you be excited to get in that box? And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and the Bookish Charmer Discord. And if you'd like to go further support me financially, go check out my Patreon page. I've also got my Amazon wish list. If you'd like to purchase me, purchase me a book, I can talk. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day. And don't forget to check out the channels of everyone else who participated in the book box. What she said. Bye. Bye.